this is Gail, your Palm Plant Girl, and today we are going to score water lotus seeds. That's grinding them down so they can swell up and grow. The tools that you will need are a large container of water, just plain tap water is fine and the bench grinder. I got my bench grinder from Harbor Freight and Tools. It was very inexpensive. If you don't have a Harbor Freight by you, uh, you could always go to the website and it's very affordable. That's all I use my grinder for and it works great. These are some lotus seeds that I got from a friend of mine. She got them from Hobby Lobby. And um, if you get your lotus seeds from a craft store, remember that you won't know what color you're going to get or if they're going to grow at all. But it's a good way to get started if you're just starting out with uh, doing lotus seeds uh, to practice grinding them and growing them. And then uh, if they don't grow, well, it's not that big of an investment, but it's a learning process. Um, these feel nice and heavy. They aren't uh, woody-like. A lot of times if you get them from a craft store, they'll feel hollow, and of course they don't grow when they're hollow. Um, but these feel really good. I don't know how old they are, but oftentimes lotus seeds can be two or three years old and they will still grow. And that's thunder right here in the background. <laughs> here is the difference between a nice healthy water lotus seed. Check it out. Nice and firm, fat and round. And a skinny little wimpy water lotus seed. I have never been able to get a little tiny one like this. So skinny and pathetic looking to grow because it's just not fully developed that's all it is let's get a close-up of that so when you're looking for seeds now you can tell what's a good water lotus seed and what's a bad water lotus seed here we go with my bench grinder I turn it up to full speed. Be very careful. Well, I'm going to turn it down because you won't be able to hear me. Be, be very careful when you use a bench grinder uh, because I have ground down my fingers as well. So just be careful with that. And let me turn it back up. It takes a while to get used to. And your seed might just uh, pop out of your fingers and then you have to go chasing after it. You can use a, a file, just a regular old file to do your seed, but it takes about a half hour and then your hand will be sore. This takes less than a minute, like 30 seconds or something like that. And it's very effortless. Ooh, your seed will get hot. Ouch. You can see here. Almost there. I gotta. I, I need to file until I get a little bit of white in the center, and that's it. On occasion, I filed it a little bit too far, and the seed has still grown. Now I don't see any white in here. Let's turn this off for now. But there is a little crack in the middle. This one I don't think is going to grow because I don't see any white parts. But let's see if it floats. If it floats. 99.9% .9 of the time it will not grow. If it sinks, most times it will grow. Let's see. Let's try it. And we got a sinker. That one will probably grow. It seems like about 1% of the seeds I receive, if I get it from a craft store or if I get it from a grower, about 1% on average will not grow and that's to be expected so if you buy water lotus seeds you might want to get a few extra just for that case there we go this one looks nice see the little white part in the center that's all you need to do you don't even need that much just a little bit and that's it you know you might ask well how do they grow in the wild if if they're not scored in the wild well, they reproduce in the wild um, with their roots, uh, called the rhizome. Um, I would imagine that animals would eat these 
and um, and that's how they would get cracked. I don't. I have no idea. I'm just guessing. Uh, but just at home, the seeds do need to be scored. Yes, I have tried growing these without scoring the seeds, and it does not work. So when you score the seeds, it allows the moisture to get in, and then the seed will swell, and it, and it will actually look like an olive. It, it swells pretty fast, and then your plant will grow. When it gets to be about four or five inches tall, then you'll be ready to plant. But you need to plant it in partial sun because if the young plant gets too hot, it will die. Let's see if this one floats or not. And we got another winner. That's really good for a, a craft store water lotus seed. Hey, after your lotus seed starts to grow, you can plant it in heavy dirt or heavy soil, not potting soil, that's too light and fluffy, just some heavy garden soil and it should be fine. I plant mine in small wine barrels and I place the seeds um, and the plants, the little plants, in partial sun and they do just fine. If you plant in full sun, they will cook. Young water lotus seeds will actually cook in the container. After they are mature, then you can transfer it over to full sun. This is water lotus that I started from seed about a month ago. It is growing in a small plastic wine barrel that I got from Dollar General. It costs about $8. Have it in partial sun. The top leaf here, that is a, a mature leaf. Notice how, how it rises from the water surface. And the more young leaves are floating on the water surface. Now, if your leaves start to look icky, do not pick them off. If you pick them off or cut them off, you will kill your plant. Here's another one, kind of hanging over the edge. I don't expect these to bloom this year. It's just, just the first year. Um, but I expect it to bloom next year when I'll be able to fertilize it. I've only been able to get a first year water lotus to bloom uh, and that was only once, but that's the exception to the rule. Here are some more young pups. They look kind of pretty when they float on the water surface, huh? I'd like to shout out to my buddy Joshua. Hi, Josh. Hey, he's a great guy, by the way. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact me at gail at pondplantgirl.com. Well, that's how to plant water lotus seeds. I wish you lots of luck with yours. And hey, you keep on being you. I'll see you next time. Hey, I'm Gail, your palm plant girl. As always, if you have any questions, please don't feel, don't feel free to call me. to the sorrow what happens to the